Hi everyone, my name is John and this is Big Eye Review. Today we are going to be reviewing a 3-in-1 LED display. <coughs> Excuse me. These LEDs will display the uh, time, uh, the volts, and it also has a temperature probe. Now, as you can see, it's, uh, I mean, well, it's not that long. So what you will have to do is there's three wires here, red, black, and a green. Get it right up there so you can see. And you'll have to cut those and, well, don't cut them right there, but cut them about, you know, about here. So it gives you some room. And you'll have to splice in some, some extra wire to uh, lead this to the exterior, unless you just want to take the temperature of the inside of your automobile. Um, now the voltmeter isn't extremely uh, accurate, but I didn't really buy it for accuracy. I suppose if I wanted for accuracy, I would have bought something uh, a lot more expensive. Uh, basically, um, alternators will tend to uh, fluctuate in their power output before they go dead. So basically that's what I got it for so I can check ahead of time and uh, when I notice there's a difference in uh, power output I can go and actually have the alternator uh, check at the garage on some more expensive equipment. The time, well, it's just to have a clock. Um, I'm actually going to be building a, a switch box. I don't know if I can find you. Uh, I actually printed out or made up on a paint shop a little diagram of what it is I was hoping to do. I can find it through all these friggin' papers here. Uh, come on, where are ya? It's where everybody uses the printer and nobody throws this stuff away after. Uh, well... <laughs> oh, come on. Really? Well, anyways, what I'll show you is that uh, I'll just get my box up here. All right. So here's here's the box I'm going to use for a switch box. It's actually quite big. Uh, I also got this on Amazon.com. Uh, so what I want to do was to, I'm going to take the three of these, of course, and I'm going to place them in here to cut the plastic out. Cutting square holes will be quite a pain. But I have some other switches I'll be putting down here for uh, different things that I'm going to operate, like my fog lights, driving lamps, auxiliary lights, uh, I got a gear alert and stuff like that, which I want to put on the panel and that. And then I'll mount this in my truck um, from underneath on something. I, I haven't figured that out yet, but uh, we're working on that. Um, so, anyways, that's that. Uh, now I've noticed that there's. Um, been some questions concerning the uh, programming or the well going into the modes and setting this up so what I want to do is just tell you a little bit about setting it up um, this is of course your let's get these wires out of here of course they're all tangled up now okay and this one all right so you have two green and a black all right and these are your programming uh, buttons here. Now, I was hoping I could kind of show you which one is which, because obviously just holding it like this you can't really tell. Well what I'll do is I'll, I'll, when I power it up we'll see. And and on the other side you have three wires that are loose. you got a, a black, a red, and a green. Some For some reason they like black, red, and green. Um, yours I guess might come with different wires because it doesn't seem to be any uh, any real reason why there's a oh and yeah if you see this there's like a little yellow thing here that's uh that's your battery and that's gonna keep the uh, time and everything uh, programmed um, when the unit is off they say it's good for about three years so uh, when you get it if you really plan on turning this unit on and off uh, you might want to get yourself maybe a Duracell or Energizer and just replace the battery if it's replaceable I would imagine it is. I wouldn't, I wouldn't imagine they throw something in there. It's not programmable. I mean replaceable. Okay, so anyways, let's do it real quick. I'll show you how to get this thing up and running. Oh yeah, now the, the black, of course, is your ground. 
I'll go in here. And then the green, I mean the red is your positive, and then your green is what you're going to sense your voltage with. Now, since I'm just doing all the same 12 volts, it doesn't matter. You can just plug that in right here. Uh, come on, get in there. All right. Come on. Come on, don't screw up. It's just, can you not just work? Okay, so these are the volts. That's the time. And that's the temperature. So it was set for all. Uh, let's see if the time is right when it gets around to it. That's uh, on. It's only on a 24-hour, and it says 20. What would it say 204? I got 206 on my computer, and the time is now 209. So I, I think it might run a little fast. All right. So let's go into it now. Uh, Two green and black, see what the black one does. Press and hold. Okay. So as you can see here, um, I don't know if you can see it. Where they got the two well, the one the side with their black wire for this one. But like I said, yours might be a little different. But you just grab it, press and hold one of the buttons, it'll come up to all. And then you can click again. Now it'll just stay on time. Stay for a second. Now, if I press it again, it'll go to the next uh, readout, which is seconds, which is not part of the all selection. But press again. Now, this is the volts. That means my power supply is putting out 13.49 volts. I wouldn't go so much worry about the um, the the hundredth digit here uh, because I've I've hooked up three of these. Not three exactly, well, two exactly like this one. I got another one here since it's still in the package. All right. And even these two, uh, they don't show the same hundredths. They'll show the same tenths, but not the hundredths. Then this one might read four point, uh, 0.40 and the other one will read uh, 0.45 or something. And then I have some LCD ones. I'll show you these ones right here. And uh, this one uh, will show a different voltage, but these ones seem to be more closer matched to each of their own kind than to this one. So, just a, an FYI, I guess. Um, okay, so we'll press it again. Now we're into the temperature. You see that the temperature works. I'll put this in the palm of my hand and heat it up a bit. Now this, you can either buy them in Fahrenheit or Celsius, and the price will vary. Uh, I think the, the, the American ones that you buy closer to that are shipped from the States are going to cost you like $18. I bought this off Mecco. I'll put a, a, a link in the description of where I ordered mine. And they're only available in Celsius. But you do have the choice, as you can see, the temperature is going up. You do have the choice uh, of four different colors when you order them. Now, when you want to choose your color that you want, uh, you have to, after you place your order in Amazon.com, all right, Go into your orders, find the find the order that you have for these, and it says contact seller. So immediately you have to do this right away. Contact the seller, and uh, your order information will be attached to the email when you send it to them, and tell them which color you would like. Now I'm not guaranteeing they'll send you the color. I guess it depends on availability. Uh, my last order, I um, I ordered four more of these because I only have two of them, and I ordered. I asked them to send me one of uh, each color. So there's red, blue, green, and amber, slash yellow, whatever you want to call it, orange. Um, so I'd have six for my two switch boxes, one for my van and one for my pickup truck. Um, so let's get back to the programming. So we're, we're in the Celsius. I'll hit it again. Okay, let me press and hold it again. Okay, now we're in the time mode. Now this is, once you get into this mode, all right, this is where you're going to set the time up. So we'll set the time. We'll press the other side now. This is the black button. This will be the green, uh, the green wired button on the back. You can see there's, there's that uh, difference of color there. So I'm going to press. And now you notice that the 14. Now if I want to change the 14 to 15, I go here. Just press this once on the other side. So I got to go all the way back to 14. 14. Then press this. 
13 is lit up, it's flashing, and I wanted to do this to 10. So I guess I can press and hold it, it'll go faster. 40, 50, 0, and we're at 10. I'll make it 11 because it's probably not going to. And then press and hold the other side. And then press again. Or press this one. I know you could have pressed one of them. Okay, press and hold. Oh, come on. There's a way to make these things flash. Okay, there we go. So you gotta press this one again after you've set it, and it'll uh, it'll put it into account. It'll start working now once these these little uh, two dots start flashing. Um, so we're gonna go back into uh, press and hold. I'm gonna go into all. We'll just leave it, and now it'll automatically switch to the different uh, readouts that it has. Would have been nice if they could have put a volt or a V just so I would know since you know. 14 if 2 o'clock, 14 or even uh, if it's 1 o'clock, I mean you'd be hard, I mean not hard pressed because the two dots versus one dot, you know, is a little bit of a difference enough to, to know what you're reading. And then you got your your temperature. So this this is a great little thing. I, li I really like it. I'm going to show you the, uh, the blue one lit up so that you can uh, get an idea for the difference in color. And I'll show you the LCD one. Now the LCD one only does volts, so there's nothing really to show on that. Okay, there we go. And this one works exactly the same, but I just wanted to show you the color. Now, I've already tested these out, and uh, they work fine. Put this into the positive. Come on, don't be such a pain. There, and then we'll take the negative and we'll put that in there. Then I'll hold these wires together. There we go. See, that, that's quite a nice blue. It's not too bright. I don't think this will be too bright in the car. And this is 1413, so that, that's held its time pretty good. The temperature and the volts. Now, this one, you see, it only is 0 0.40, and it'll always stay at 0 0.40. It'll never fluctuate. So I'm not sure if there's some sort of... But but you see, with electronics, people, please understand that when you're using cheaper resistors and capacitors and diodes, all right, which is all the stuff that goes in the back here and on the circuit board, um, the ohms of a resistor, uh, it might say you know, a 100 ohm resistor, but it's not each resistor, even though they're both 100 ohm resistors, will be a little bit off. And when you start adding all these components together, and they're off by the smallest amount, uh, your end result is that you know you get two two meters side by side, which which won't uh, read the same thing. So I mean, don't be too hard pressed by that. Don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. You're using this for car voltage, you know. I mean, if you wanted, like I said, want something really uh, fancy or really accurate, then well, I mean, you go spend the money to get something really accurate. All right, this one here, I want to do real quick, uh, just in the same review here. Uh, I like it; it's not bad. Uh, but remember, like I said, it's just a voltmeter. Comes up, says DC here, the V here. See, this one says 13.59. I don't know. I'm trying to kind of thinking these ones might be a little more accurate. But I'm not 100 percent. Now, the pros and cons to this one versus uh, the LED ones is that uh, these ones are lit up all the time. Now there is a way to bypass that, and I'll show you uh, without turning off the, uh, the the display. All right, let's go here and off the police wires so, because the light will screw up the camera a bit. But you'll notice that in here there's really small wires, okay, and there's a red one and a black one. Well, those are for the little LED light in there, okay, that, that lights up the glass, that in, hand, in, in turn lights up the, uh, the LCD. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to have to remove these screws here, carefully pull this panel out, and you'll probably have to pry it this way, alright? And you can actually uh, snip those wires and uh, splice in other wires and you really try and keep to the same size of wire or something you know don't go any bigger than this type of wire for these wires 
okay and you can actually just put yourself a little uh, a little switch or if you're one of these you're into electronics and that if you can find yourself a little uh, little switch like that you can just use it like a momentary so when you press it the light will come on and you'll see it because uh, otherwise uh, I would imagine that uh, that that LED or uh, incandescent light I'm not sure what kind of lights in there uh, will burn out you know in time so it's not something you want to keep on when you don't have the vehicle running you know so hook it up to if you're not going to do a switch on the light uh, just hook it up so that um, your uh, it's on works with the ignition only also when making your hole for this one particular you want to give a little extra space right here you can see these uh, this clip here it actually it won't push in to match with this area here so you're gonna have to cut a little more for this so when it goes in it, it'll fit properly you're not trying to push it in or to the point where you're gonna get it in and you ain't getting it out uh, other than that these are I, I really like these they're really great little um, uh, little readouts uh, like I said I prefer the LED ones so those are the ones I'm gonna be going with um, I hope this helps uh, if it's something you're interested in switch boxes electronics or just general reviews from uh, things I purchase off of uh, Amazon, which are uh, quite a few. Uh, subscribe. I'm always trying to make up videos. I, I mean, I'd like to say I make one once a week, but everybody would call me a liar because I don't always have the time. But, uh, you know, if you subscribe, you'll get uh, email notification that there's another video up, and you can come check it out. If you like this and you found it helpful, click like. It helps me. puts boosts up the video a little bit in the... Uh, in the ladder of videos that are out about these and people will be more uh, able to access this video. As always, thanks for watching.